afternoon and welcome to Ed's Orchids. Now uh, today I don't think it'll be a long video. It's one of those uh, what have you got in your orchid arsenal tags and I've been nabbled by uh, Fernanda. Fernanda Nascimento from Portugal and if you haven't seen her channel just have a look it's quite quite nice. Uh, I don't know what I can show you because uh, I've been watching other people's tags on this one and they seem so uh, in tune with what they're doing that uh, they've got everything in order, you know. But uh, me, being a man, totally different, as all the ladies will know, you know. I pick something up, I put something down and I don't know where I put it. I'll do the best I can and uh, after having seen all the other tags of the ladies where everything's in the position and everything's put away in drawers and you know, they know where everything is, you know, I'm, I wish I was like that but uh, I just can't be. Anyhow, I'll show you what I've got and uh, that's the best I can do. So what have I got on here? I've got the... Uh, Maxi crop extract of seaweed plus sequestered iron. I've got the Epsom salts there. I've got calcium nitrate. I've got pure nitrogen uh, crystals there. Uh, I've got the uh, rain mix, which I use. Uh, I've started to use now, finding it okay. That's a kilogram, about about fourteen pound fifty, something like that, for a kilo. Uh, I've got my trustworthy dragon's blood. Ground cinnamon, which I use occasionally, and I've got these very thin, uh, soft aluminium wire. My pliers, my pliers there for pulling them tight. I've got my label maker, my pH meter, and a TDS meter. And what else have I got on the table now? Oh, we've got the bug clear. That's the one I use. We've got uh, limestone chippings, we've got the large orchiata bark which I use for the catlayers and some I just put at the uh, bottom of the, of the pots for, uh, well instead of the polystyrene chunks. Got some medium uh, Portuguese bark there and some small seedling bark which I sprinkle occasionally on the top and give it a good pat and let some go down in the, uh, into the medium covering up the uh, spaces. Oh and these are, uh, these are handy. These smallish hooks. A lot of people don't know where you get them from. But I got these from uh, Relke Orchidine in Germany and that's the number. Can you see it there? A3, A30B. So if you get hold of Relke and you want some of these, just give them the number on the uh, on, on your email as A30B. Tell them how many you want and pay for them. And uh, they're very, very good. I've had these quite some time. And I've got my little workbench that I put the uh, uh, the big plastic tray over and when I'm watering I have it this way around and when I'm uh, uh, doing a bit of repotting I turn it over and do it the other end. Mind you I couldn't do without my uh, RO water system. I couldn't do without the uh, humidifier. And, uh, well, it's like everything else. I couldn't do without all the electrics. 
and the fans. This is where I keep all my clips. Just tagged over the wires. This is my uh, Oregon Scientific that uh, when I go into the house I've got a meter in there that tells me what the temperature is what the humidity is. I've got the little bits and pieces in here that uh, for the drip system you know the tea pieces and the uh, the drippers and that's another big thing I couldn't do without my kettle and I've got one of these little outside shelters that uh, I put all my uh, all my things I use you know scrubbing brush spirit levels and my pots and pans put everything in there there's everything in there I need so I don't need any more there's a bit of work there if I need to uh, mount anything do you know I'm going all over the garden trying to find these to add to the video well I'm here with the small greenhouse now and uh, as you can see it's untidy and got everything in I'll go in there in a minute but I must show you these these are doing very nicely bearded iris beautiful spreading all over the place a few cymbidiums in here uh, some kind of cactus I don't know what this is but it grows very well somebody can tell me what this is I've got some very very small bark, seedling bark, plenty of it. Uh, what else have I got? Oh, we've got some uh, pumice. I remembered the name. Some pumice stone there. Yeah. And some chicken manure. I've often thought of putting that, just a few, just a bit of it in the pots, just to see what had happened. And anyway, I haven't done it yet, so uh, I don't know what would happen. No, I've been asked to show me uh, my drip system again, the watering. Well, this comes from the house tap. You know, the pipe here goes to the uh, horse pipe. And this one goes to the greenhouse. Goes underground. I've shown it you before. All the way across to the greenhouse. Underground. And the water comes in at the back end. The water comes in at the corner there. Goes up to the uh, up to the cold water tap. That goes down into the RO system, which cleans all the water. And uh, the red one is the uh, the waste water, which I've connected up to the drip system. It's not on at the moment. I've just switched it off. Of course, it was on all night last night. So uh, there's the little drips as I've seen seen before one of those in every one and uh, the one I did uh, took out of its pot to have a look at it was absolutely brilliant what I think I'll do I think I should have a look at another two just to make sure I'm not dreaming and uh, while I'm here I might as well just show you uh, how the sesquipedal is going on Going very, very nicely. Well, I suppose I've got to tag somebody. I'm not to carry on from here, so uh, no, who, who do I know? Who comes to mind? Well, Jeff comes to mind, but we'll give Jeff a mess because he talk for about an hour and a half. Somebody else might get him. How about the lady from the orchid garden? Now, I do apologise to you. You don't need to do it if you don't want, but uh, you're the first name that came to mind. 
and she has some lovely videos so uh, take a look at her channel too. You know what kid garden. Well to finish with I thought I'd just show you what I live next to. These trees look like they're going to fall over any time. Huge things. If you remember a few years ago, one fell over into my garden and ruined it. It fell right across here. And ruined everything across here. You know, I had a little garden at the back there now. It's just nettles. Nettles. But uh, it's a nice quiet spot. Wonder why the birds aren't singing. Anyhow, that's on the side of my house, and uh, so it's nice and quiet. And uh, I don't think I can tell you anything else. So uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry it's so short, but uh, that's how it is. And. Uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.